So I was doing a bit of reading and I came across something called flux switching alternators. Never heard of them before, but apparently they're used in really scary environments like missile controls, that sort of thing. So they're incredibly robust and I thought, ooh, they're interesting. And of course, what's the best way to learn about something but make one of them? Now what I've got to make it really is a microwave oven transformer. So I think it's on a bit of a challenge, but what we're going to do is try and turn this into a flux switching alternator, which I think is really cool. First thing, obviously, is to get it to pieces, and it's the same routine. We've got a weld line down there. We're going to grind that weld line off, cut that apart. What we want is the steel. And we're ready. So application of a grinder and a hammer and it doesn't take long to get these things to pieces. There's the bits of steel and there are the coils still in nice condition actually. So that's our stock material that we're going to be using. Now what we're going to do is turn it into a six-pointed rotor. So we took a load of the eyes, welded them together, a couple of big washers and an axle and that's our six-pointed star rotor. So that's the rotor done. Now we need to make the stator and for the stator we're going to use this, the big old E. And we need to separate that out. So first thing, grind off this weld line and get these the right size. Okay, so once I got those separated what I did was take this centre out and move it to the end. So we end up with that. I've also got a little angle in the E. Now I did put a weld across those to hold them all together but I made two armatures like that. Now we need to wind a coil here and here and that's obviously a little bit rough so all I'm going to do is put a bit of electrician's tape around it to protect the wire from the roughness of this arm armature. Anyway let's get those wound up. And that's the armatures finished. Now it's a little rough because the wire that I used was in fact the primary out of the microwave oven transformer. That's what I've got left. But I wound them out of that because I wanted to uh, really use the transformer. Now that goes in there and spins in there. So what we have to do now is mount them. Okay, so that's it set up. Now the only thing missing here are a set of magnets. The magnets go between here and here. And it's important that two poles point the same direction. So if this is north, that must be north as well. That's south and that's south. So they point in the same direction. When that approaches there, then the reluctance is at the least, so it will flow from here, creating a magnetic circuit. When it goes there, that circuit breaks, but this one is now formed, forming another circuit. So we get an alternating magnetic circuit through these two coils. Of course, what that's going to do is generate. So let's find some magnets and give this a test. There it is finished. I've got one coil connected and I'm going to put a drill on it. And we've got the meter here, so we'll see if we actually get anything out of it. There you go, 0.4 of a volt. That's amazing actually, when you think about it. But there we go, a switching flux generator built entirely out of an old microwave oven transformer. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.